Wow, <laughs> that cat really did make himself at home, just oh, up there did. on the cash register and everything. <laughs> Let's get you to your weather years. now. <laughs> right? Wow. Fall like temperatures finally on the way, right, Jordan? Oh, yes, indeed. And I know a lot of folks are waiting and uh, anticipating the cooler weather because we did see very hot stuff today. We did tie that record down in Stockton, so the numbers are in. 92 degrees was the high, and that record was back in 1961, 92 degrees. So there we go. Normally, 77 degrees, folks, and we will get to that 77 eventually on that 70 forecast, but we'll just have to be a little bit patient. We'll show you that in just a minute. But first, let's step outside and head down towards Modesto, where they got into the low 90s as well. But as we take a look at What's happening right now? Pretty nice afternoon with plenty of sunshine, some smoke and haze filtering in, but temperatures are slowly coming down. We're still got, we still got 90s on the board there. Sacramento 92, Stockton 91, upper 80s for Modesto. We got 91 in Marysville and South Lake Tahoe clocking in at 70 degrees. So as we take a look at our humidity at 16%, still very dry outside. Our dew point at 39, and the winds trending in from the north at five miles per hour, and our pressure is 29.92. And we'll start off with the winds. A lot to talk about. We've got mainly again north winds trending in anywhere from three to nine miles per hour here in the valley. A bit breezy though out towards the bay at 22 miles per hour. Now this week we will see a few days with occasional stronger gusts from the north. It's actually going to pick up tomorrow night into Tuesday, and we'll see winds mainly though trending up towards uh, Redding and Chico. But we'll see some of that winds come down towards the western portions of the valley anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But because of that very dry atmosphere, we could still see fire start very quickly and uh, spread rapidly. So fire weather watch will go into place uh, starting tomorrow night at 11 o'clock and will be lasting through Wednesday again with those breezy and dry north to east winds along with low humidity levels expected. As we take a look though, at the changes that will be happening. So this is that air of high pressure that's been really dominating the forecast this week. It's going to break down. It's going to open the door from some storms to make its way into our area. So and that also means uh, the chance for some cooler temperatures, even some light shower activity. I'll take a look at, uh, let's see, heading into Sunday. This is going to be, we're, we're looking at dry weather Friday into early Saturday, but by Saturday night into Sunday, we will pick up some light rain, mainly into portions of Truckee and South Lake Tahoe, and some light shower activity expected into the foothills, but Valley Spot should remain dry. What we will get, though, will be some cooler temperatures on the way. Taking a look at tonight's temperatures, though, get ready for another cool one. We'll get down to the low 50s here in Sacramento, mid to so well, mid 60s in the foothills and upper 20s tonight for Truckee. We'll see 32 for South Lake Tahoe and we'll head into your Monday forecast. We'll see 72 for San Francisco again winds from the west 10 miles per hour. Temperatures that will be coming down. We'll get into the upper 80s for Fairfield. Then as we head into the high country tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine expected all across the board. 78 for South Lake Tahoe, 73 in Truckee. We'll see upper 70s to low 80s out towards Plumas County with the light north wind at 5 miles per hour. And then heading into the foothills, we'll see a pretty sunny day as well with temperatures in the mid to low 80s through much of the day with light winds. And then here in the valley, again, very similar to what we saw today, upper 80s to 90 degrees expected for much of the valley floor with winds from the northwest at 10 miles per hour. So here's that seven day forecast. We get to the upper 80s by Tuesday. Again, fire weather watch will be in place for portions of the valley and temperatures will start to cool down by Thursday. 80 degrees as that storm system continues to push forward and get closer to us by Friday. We get into the 70s overnight lows cooling off as well. But by Saturday and Sunday, take a look at that low 70s on Saturday, 70 degrees on Sunday, and we could see some snow activity Saturday night into Sunday for the Sierra, mainly though at 8,000 feet, so still a bit high. But there we go. We are on the right path with cooler temperatures and the chance for some light rain and snow.